ESPN 1420, ESPN1420.com. We are out at ML Tigmore Field for Fan Day. Uh, I'm standing next to Dan McDonald, of course. He's going to be doing some road play-by-play -play for us, including opening weekend, which is right around the corner, Dan. I am looking forward to this so much. I mean, and, and look at this day, how beautiful it is perfect, out here. For those of you who are looking at on a computer screen, hey, get outside with us and come out here and come out here to the Teague because you know, it was a great day today with Fan Day. With Coach Anthony Babineau at UL Baseball Fan Day, Coach Babineau, Associate Head Coach of the Raging Cajuns, and uh, Bab, uh, it's, it's right here on top of us. It seems like for uh, the rest of us, it sneaks up on us. But I know you guys have been doing so much work getting ready for this opening day. Yeah, it is right upon us, and it's an exciting time. It really is. All the players are anxious, the coaches are anxious, I know the fans, and everybody involved is really anxious to get another season underway. We are visiting with Raging Cajun shortstop Blake Trahan, and beard's gone, man. It's it's. Uh, it took me a minute to recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had to cut the beards, you know. We got coach coach said we got to deserve it first, you know. There you go. But I mean, even the sideburns, it's all just a clean look. Right, right. Yeah. All the preseason All American accolades, a lot of a lot of preseason hype around you. How do you balance sort of enjoying it, but? Not sort of buying into it because you know the season hadn't started yet. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, as an athlete, you know, we gotta, we gotta find out how to perform, you know, and you know all the, these distractions, you know, that stuff, uh, you know, every athlete has to deal with. We gotta stay focused on the team, you know. That's, that's really how you do it. We are visiting with Raging Cajun right-handed sophomore pitcher Reagan Bazaar, and uh, has it sunk in yet? The season's about to start. You know, not yet, not yet. I still feel like it's you know the beginning of the fall. But we're excited. All of us are really excited to get this season rolling. Striking out Ryan Banowitz last year with ease. How, how much do you think that prepared you for for the run in the postseason? You know, I think it, I think it helped out a lot. You know, like he's very, he's a very impressive hitter. And you know, I was I was intimidated a little bit when he stepped in the box, but uh, you know, I think it's going to prepare me a lot. Did you hear that, Scott? Intimidated. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I for some reason I don't believe him. And Reagan, everyone knows you're gonna you're gonna do crazy things with the radar gun. What have you worked on in the off season to up your game this year? You know, this summer I learned how to throw a changeup. You know, I think that's gonna be, you know, what I need, you know, the most because they were timing out my fastball last year. You know, towards the end of the season, it's, it's pretty easy to hit. You know, when you know what they're gonna throw. So I developed a changeup. You know, I'm just I'm just I've just been working on that. That's going to do it from out here at Fan Day at ML Teakmore Field. Big ups to Dylan Butler, who won the Home Run Derby today. Reminder, the season begins this Friday. All weekend baseball games can be heard on News Talk 96.5 KPL on the radio dial and all weekday games on ESPN 1420 on the AM dial and ESPN1420.com. Can't wait to take you out to the ball game all season long. We'll see you soon.